Today at the Montreal courthouse, Reynald Le Tourneau pleaded guilty to a first-degree murder charge in the death of Charlie Cecilia Garcia Lares, a woman he strangled to death last year uh, in her apartment in May. It's a very rare for a person to plead guilty to first-degree murder. It's one of the most serious charges in the Canada's criminal code. It comes with an automatic life sentence and no chance at full parole until Mr. Le Tourneau has served at least 25 years behind bars. He tried to enter the plea last week, but he was not represented by a lawyer. So Superior Court Justice André Vincent asked Le Tourneau to reflect on what he was doing for about a week and also asked him to consult the lawyer because he was ready to enter this plea without any representation whatsoever. He was assigned the lawyer uh, who could help him, uh, Gaetan Burassa, and after going over a summary of the facts of the case, uh, Le Tourneau came back today again and was still ready to uh, enter his plea. Um, it should be noticed that Le Tourneau had, before he met uh, the victim, he had served a five-year sentence for sexually assaulting and forcibly confining a woman he had dated. He was supposed to report any relationships he had with women to the Sûreté de Québec, but he did, apparently did not. And uh, when he, he was never released on parole while serving that sentence, and, and two things that he said to the parole board that were, uh, were very notable were that one was that he, he, he uh, stated quite clearly that he hated women, all women, period. Another thing that he said was that uh, his childhood was marked by witnessing many acts of violence, including he witnessed at six years old uh, a man murdering uh, his own mother. Uh, he he can't, told the parole board that that uh, in particular uh, marked his life.